I was in Las Vegas at the time, so I thought, look, I, I don't want to risk it by taking my life savings, which was basically nothing mm -hmm. back then. So I thought a better approach here, because I don't know what the hell I'm doing, is uh, get a job, but hopefully I can get a job working four days a week so I can have all this time to allocate to the business, so I can have this steady stream of cash flow coming in, yeah. so I don't have to worry about paying my rent, and I've got this additional income that I can allocate directly into the business in addition to the savings, and you got a bit of a buffer there, and you can sleep at night knowing that you're not gonna worry about your next meal. So what I did in Vegas is I actually got a gig uh, working valet, and I worked a graveyard shift at the Nugget, and so I my, my shift was from 10 p.m. to 8 a.m., Wow, so I'd work a I'd work four tens, and what they and back in the day, it's probably not like this now, but they gave you free food, so I'd go there at like nine thirty. I'd eat, and then during my shift, I'd get a break. I'd eat again, and then when I got off, I'd eat again. So I could eat all three meals at my work for free, and then I was getting all the tips from the valet, and then when I got home, I'd work on my business for like four or five hours, and then I'd just crash and sleep from you know, whatever, two in the afternoon to uh, six or something. And then I just go and I do it again. And I'd have three days off to where I could allocate 100% of my time and energy into the business. So that might be something you'd want to consider is getting a normal gig and then just uh,